star-studded night for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex ended with Prince Harry and his wife Meghan chased through the streets of New York City by paparazzi. Sources tell PIX11 the couple even took cover in a local police precinct as they tried to get away. Uh, paparazzis, you know, they want to get the right shot, they want to get the right story, uh, but public safety must always be at the forefront. The couple called the chase near catastrophic. It would be horrific to lose an innocent bystander during a chase like this and something to have happened uh, to them as well. The Duke and Duchess attended the Women of Vision Awards at the Ziegfeld Ballroom in Midtown Tuesday evening. As they left, paparazzi pursued in cars, on bikes, and on scooters. Zara Saeed witnessed the photographers outside the ballroom. The entire time, a lot of the paparazzi were heckling Meghan and Harry um, and making just negative comments, trying to get a reaction out of them. So it did get pretty aggressive. A private security team was with Prince Harry and Meghan as the chaotic chase unfolded. The NYPD provided assistance as well. PIX11 has learned the couple was taken to the 19th precinct hoping to evade aggressive photographers. Former NYPD Sergeant Manny Gomez believes... I'm sure the NYPD is now studying this and saying, hey, how could we as uh, the premier law enforcement agency in New York uh, have done something different? Prince Harry and Meghan's night in New York City now drawing comparisons to Harry's own mother, Princess Diana, and her fatal crash in Paris, sparked by a paparazzi chase. I don't think there's many of us who don't recall how, uh, how the, uh, his mom uh, died. The yellow taxi driver who picked up Prince Harry and Meghan says the couple paid their $17 fare along with a generous tip. And 